subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update what is safety program safety program can be defined as five methods by which accident can be prevented easily they are 1 engineering 2 education 3 enforcement 4 enthusiasm and 5 example safety programs are plain spoken and carry out certain legal steps what is safety policy any company has a social and legal obligation to provide a safe and health working environment to all his improvement to all his employees. What are the duties of a safety officer? 1. Prepare toolbox talk. 2. Prepare monthly statistics. 3. Prepare the checklist. 4. Accident reports. 5. Management meetings. 6. Arrange the safety classes, training. 7. Arrange monthly safety bulletin. 8. Inspection of fire extinguisher. 9. Arrange first aid training classes. 10. Arrange safety competitions like quiz, slogan, poster competitions, exhibition, etc. How to investigate an accident. 1. Injured person's name, address, designation, age. 2. Exact place and types of hazards. 3. Date, shift, time. 4. To find out the causes slash reasons. 5. To take correction action. 6. Fact finding not fault finding. What are the objectives of safety management? 1. Taking care of workers and staff in the event of an accident. 2. Providing healthful environment and surrounding. 3. Welfare. 4. Continuous vigil and improvement. What are main provision in the Factory Act? Health, safety, welfare, hours of work, employment, person, occupational disease, special provision and penalties and procedures. What is painting? The process after sandblasting is called painting. Do you know what is Factory Act? The Factory Act is a social enactment to achieve social reform and given liberal construction to achieve legislative. What is confined space? An area which is small and enclosed or an area where one entry and exits or where a man cannot work comfortable in any location is caused confined space. Do you know what is earthling? Earthling means connecting the natural point of the supple system to the general mass of the earth by line. What is manual handing? The process of lifting, carrying and stacking materials by men is called manual handing. Tell us how many types of appliance? 1. Safety appliance for PPE. 2. Safety appliance for general protection. Know what is inspection? Inspection means to fin out hazards according to checklist prepared with reference to the department operations by the people who are familiar with the plant. What is work permit system? Work permit system is a written document for permission to undertake a job by area in charge or it is written document issued by the area in charge to their performer to undertake the specific job. What are hazards and injuries in manual handing? One. Cutting fingers due to sharp edges. 2. Burns due to handing of hot articles. 3. Foot injuries due to dropped articles. 4. Slip disc due to improper posture in lifting on object. 5. Strains to wrist or fingers. 6. Sprains, wounds, hernias, fractures. What are belongs to an unhygienic working environment? Presence of toxic. High temp. Excessive noise. Emission of radiation. Improper lighting. Improper ventilation. Process involving handling of poisonous. What are the hazards in construction? 1. Fall of person from top and getting injured. 2. Fall of objects from top and below person injury. 3. Fall of materials from top and damaged. 4 person fall into excavated pit.
5. Collapse of soil and below person get injury or may. 6. Damage of U cables and sewage pipe. 7. Collapse of scaffolding and person fall from height, get injury. 8. Electrical shock. 9. Fire and explosion. 10. Burn injury. 11. Health and lung problems. 12. Snake spite. 13. Poisonous gas. 14. Foreign body in eye. How many types of signboards? Mandatory. Information. Fire or explosion. Caution. Wiring. Safety precaution of scaffold. 1. Scaffolding board not be painted. 2. Scaffolding board should not do any cracks. 3. Check for rust in pipes, clamps. 4. Clamps should fixed and good quality. 5. Board's thickness should be 3.4 cms and no bending. 6. The construction must be rigid, properly based. 7. Use of good and sound materials. 8. The wooden bellies has not joints. 9. Vertical poles should not be more than 6 feet. 10. Chains, ropes used for the suspension of scaffoldings. 11. Never throw any materials from height. 12. Use safety harness while working at above 6 feet. 13. Properly ties to be arrangement. What is excavation? Marking a hole or tunnel by digging the ground by man or machine is called excavation. What is ELCB? It is protection of living beings under electrocharging by fast isolation from the live conductor to avoid permanent disability or death. Explain me a brief about grinding. 1. Proper wheel shall be used ape the grinding machine specification. 2. All the grinding machine shall be used with wheel guard. 3. Grinding cables shall not mingle with welding cables. 4. All the cables shall be protected from damage. 5. Provide face shield with safety helmet. 6. Never use fracture wheel. 7. Excessive tighting of maintaining is dangerous. 8. All guards should be in position before the machine operated. 9. The speed of the grinding should match in the speeds of the grinding machines. 10. Only skilled person should be handle this work. 11. Testing of wheel is necessary. What are ordered elements? OS and H policy, educational training, safety manual and rules, new equipments, safety inspection, machine guarding, material handling safe operating procedures. Noise. How to report an accident. 1. Date and time. 2. Activity. 3. What happened? 4. Person involved. 5. What went wrong? 6. Causes. 7. Corrective action suggested. 8. Signature. 9. Safety officer. 10. Safety in charge. 11. Project manager. What is safety inventory system? It is a safety date collecting technique and carried out to promote full employee cooperation condition in the implementation of the company's safety surveys. What is the biggest hazard in construction and what can be done to remove it? Biggest hazard that applies to construction sites is that of collapse. This is avoided through proper and secure scaffolding at sensitive structural points. What is welding? The process of joining of metals either by electrical or by gas is called welding. What precautions are need to avoid accident in manhandling? 1. Stand at safe distance from the load. 2. Sharp edge and burns are removed before lifting a material. 3. PPE such as safety gloves and safety shoes are to be used. 4. If the weight is too heavy for one person to lift. Then he has to seek the assistance. 5. The pathway is not blocked by obstacles while carrying the load. 6. The different actions, movements and forces necessary while carrying the load. 7. 
Modify the task by using hooks and crowbars. 8. Mechanical equipments like cranes shall be used. 9. Modify the objects. 10. Change the way things are used. What are the hazards in chemical safety? 1. Danger due to fire slash explosion. 2. Danger due to toxicity. What are four legs of fire safety? Fire protection. Fire prevention. Quantity control. Preventive maintenance. What is a safety audit? On what three bases does it operate? A safety audit is a workplace screening process that indicates any unsafe working conditions and recommends corrective measures. Is operates on measurements. Analysis and testing. Explain me training or experience. What is more important in a safety officer's role? One without the other is not potent enough for many situations so I would consider both very important. Training is a prerequisite and experience is comes with time. They cannot be compared or used interchangeably. What is the precaution for gas cutting? 1. Keep fire extinguisher nearby. 2. Keep fire watch nearby. 3. Remove all combustible from work area. 4. Use all necessary PPE. 5. Never put welding gas cylinder inside a confined space. 6. Hoses shall not be laid in pathways. 7. Gas cutting torch should have flashback arrestors. 8. Gas test to be done to check for presence of flammable gas in sight. 9. Good housekeeping and ventilation necessary in working area. 10. Hose connections should be made properly. Safety rules in using compressed air. 1. Only authorized persons should use compressed air. 2. The body or clothes should not be cleaned with compressed air. 3. Compressed air hose pipes should not be placed across passageways. 4. Leakage of compressed air should not be tested with hands. 5. While working with tools run by compressed air safety shoes are to be used. 6. The tools should not be kept on position when not in use. Explain role of management in industrial safety. 1. A written safety policy be issued by the managements towards men, material and machines. 2. The safety policy should bring out the managements towards men, material machine. 3. The safety policy should be circulated to top, middle and to workers. 4. Management meeting should be in a position. 5. Management should arrange for safety inspection, once in three months, and safety audit, once in year, to be carried out. What the advantages of ventilation? 1. It helps to reduce the chances of fire or explosion. 2. It protects the occupational diseases. 3. It provides comfort to the workmen. What is industrial hygiene? Industrial hygiene is defined as the art and science of the presentation and improvement of the health and comfort of workers. Explain and differentiate between risk assessment and incident investigation. Risk assessment is conducted before an incident has occurred with the aim of avoiding any incident in the first place while incident investigation is done after an accident has occurred to determine its causes and avoid its repetition in the future. What is work at height? Any work above 1.8 meters from ground is caused work at height. What is gas cutting? The process of joining of cutting metals by using oxygen and combustible gas is called gas cutting. What are the causes of accidents of hard tools? 1. Due to wrong way using of tools. 2. Due to defective condition of tools. 3. Due to failure of using right tools for right job. 4. Due to wrong way of carrying tools. 5. Due to strong of tools unsafety. Do you know precaution of excavation? 1. Excavation area should be suitable barricade. 2. Put sign boards lights and flags. 3. Avoid heavy vehicle coming near the sides. 
4. PPE like helmet, safety shoes should be used. 5. Keep the excavated soil at least 5 feet distance. 6. Excavated sides should be sloped baked to a safe angle. 7. Hand excavation should be done at the present of yoke pipes or cables place. 8. Cutting shall be done from top to bottom. 9. All narrow trenches 4 feet or more deep shall be supplied at least one ladder. 10. While excavating on the slope on the slope whose height is over 10 feet men should use safety belts. Do you know about accident sequence? A personal injury occurs only as the result of an accident. An accident occurs only as the result of an unsafe action or unsafe mechanical or physical conditions or both. Unsafe action or unsafe condition or mechanical or physical condition exist only because of fault in the part of persons. Fault of persons acquires from the environment and the causes for lack of knowledge or skills or improper attitude. Explain me what are cause of road accident? 1. Not following defensive arriving techniques. 2. Not observing lane displine. 3. Overtaking on turns or from wrong side. 4. Not obey traffic signals. 5. Poor road condition. 6. Poor maintained vehicle. What are the important points to be observed for fire prevention? Good housekeeping. No smoking. Use of fire resistant paint. Electrical safety. Fire check doors. Note flame safety. Separate storage of hazardous chemicals. What is attitude? Attitude may be described as continuous behavior. If man's behavior is good, then his action will be either correct or safe. What are the precaution for painting? 1. All flammable materials should be cleared from the work area. 2. The required protective clothing and equipment must be worn. 3. Cartridge respirators shall always be worn. 4. Adequate ventilation is necessary. 5. Adequate washing facilities must be readily available. 6. Barrier cream should be applied to the skin. Do you know storage of gas cylinders? 1. Cylinders should stored in a safe, dry and well ventilated store. 2. Oxygen cylinders should be stored horizontally and acetylene cylinders shall be stored vertically. 3. The standing cylinders should be secured properly avoid falling. 4. Flammable gas shall be stored at least 50 feet away from another building. 5. Oxygen cylinder shall never be stored necessary flammable gas cylinder. 6. Empty cylinder shall be identified by marking with a chalk, mount, and checked for damage before returning to suppliers. 7. Cylinders should not be kept as supports. Tell me some examples about unsafe conditions. 1. Unguarded machine slash equipment. 2. Poor lighting. 3. Narrow road. 4. Improper stacking. 5. Oil on floor. 6. Unsafe ventilation. 7. Unsafe defective construction. 8. Defective condition of tools and equipment. 9. Unsafe method or procedure. 10. Bad housekeeping. What are belongs to road safety? 1. The speed limits displayed along the road should be strictly. 2. Shortcuts and cutting across the corners should be avoided. 3. Nobody should try to cross the level crossing when drop gates are closed. 4. Signal given blocking the road stop look, listen and proceed should be followed. What is inhalation? Entry of harmful materials through mouth is called ingestion. What parameters determine work at height? Any task that is required to be performed at a height of 1.8 meter more above ground level is considered as a work at height situation. What is housekeeping? Housekeeping means not only cleanness but also orderly arrangement of operations, tools, equipment, storage facilities and suppliers. Explain cause of accident in construction. 1. Erection equipment failure. 
2. Falling of persons from height. 3. Electrical shocks. 4. Improper lighting. 5. Non-stop working by worker. 6. Upsafe work methods. 7. Collapsing of earth during trench excavation. 8. Failure of use safety equipment. 9. Working a height without safety belt. Do you know safety in the use of hand trucks? 1. The truck should be inspected. 2. The axles should be greased well. 3. Safety shoes should be worked by the operators. 4. The load should be balanced and the weight of the load should not fall on the axle. 5. The hard cut should not be wider than the width of the hand truck. 6. The hard cut should be pushed and not pulled. 7. The truck should not be placed on pathways. How to control risk? The risk is controlled by following process they are eliminate, replace, reduce, control and PPE. What is term card? It is legal requirements in case of emergency in violin vehicles carrying hazard substance. What is safety triangle, green? Safety day, 4th March. Fire day, 14th April. Hot work, red. Cold work, green. Confined, blue. Radiography, yellow. Water type extinguisher, red. Foam type extinguisher, cream, green. CO2 extinguisher black. DCR extinguisher blue. What is incident? It is an event which represents deviation from the intended sequence of design steps. What is grinding? Grinder is a portable machine with a wheel guard in position to reduce the danger. What is first aid? First aid is temporary and immediate care given to the victim of an accident. What is TWA? Freight HRS. Exposure per day? It is defined as the limit of airborne concentration of substances under which personnel may be exposed for 8 hours per day without any adverse effect. Do you know the terms risk and safety? Safety is defined as a condition that is free from hazards while risk is the realization of a potential loss or injury. What is accident? It is an unexpected or unplanned event which may or may not result in injury or damage or property loss or death. What is crane? A tall machine used for moving heavy objects by suspending them from a projecting arm with hook. What are advantages of JSA? Job Safety Analysis? 1. It helps to identify hazards and prevent accident. 2. It helps to establish safe work method, working conditions and suitable plant safety rules. 3. It helps to ask as the safety training for heading can be used for JSA. 4. It helps to inspection the plant. A. Name of operation for JSA. B. Description of the operation. C. Hazards. D. Precautions. Explain right causes of accidents. Direct cause. Unsafe fact. Unsafe condition. Indirect cause. Lack of knowledge or skill. Improper attitude. 3. Physical or mental deficiency. How to control the petroleum hazards. 1. Proper design, operation and maintenance. 2. Avoid leakage. 3. Steel pressure cylinder. 4. Vapor release is to be directed away from heat sources. 5. Wear goggles and SCBA sets. What are five rules of fourth job? 1. Select the right ladder's fourth job. 2. Inspect ladder before you see it. 3. Set up the ladder with care. 4. Climb in carefully. 5. Use safe practices. What is respiration? The process of inhaling fresh hair and exhaling, to entering a confined place is called respiration. What are the five essential E's of a safety program? The five essentials of a safety program include, engineering, education, enforcement, enthusiasm and example. What is safety tag? 
Safety tag can be defined as surface made of cardboard or paperboard on which English local languages letters written for warning safety instructions to employees. What is all? The maximum preparation of vapor, gases and dust in air above which proposal the flame does not occur on contact with a source of ignition is called L. What are the accidents in poor housekeeping? 1. Men getting hit by failing from overhead. 2. Men slipping as greasy, wet or dirty floor. 3. Men failing in open tank without cover in level floor. 4. Accidents due to poor lighting. 5. Fire accidents due to faulty electrical wires. What is safety management? Safety management is an act and science of setting safety objectives of the industrial company. How to control the chemical hazards? The chemical hazards are controlled by engineering method, administrative method and PPE. What are four P's? Procedure, rules, regulation. Protective gear, PPE. Promotional aspects, competitions, rewards. Publicity, bulleting, posters. What is hot work permit? Any work which involves spark flame, temperature is called HWP. What is safety? It is a condition which gives you freedom from hazard, risk, accident which may cause injury, damage and loss to material or property damage and even death. Safety is defined as freedom from those conditions that can cause injury to persons including death or damage to property or environment. Explain cause of accidents in manual handling. 1. Improper lifting. 2. Carrying too heavy loads. 3. Improper gripping. 4. Failure to use PPE. 5. Lifting greasy, oily and irregular objects. 6. Poor physique. What control measures area necessary in confined space? 1. Enter with airline BA sets. 2. Use 24V flame proof hand lamps. 3. A hole watch to be kept near manhole. 4. Keep firefighting equipment ready. 5. Gas test to be done to check for oxygen level. 6. Provide blowers. 7. Don't smoke in confined space. 8. Use ropes and harness. 9. The space is clean before entry. 10. Use non-sparking tools if there is any risk of flammable vapors being present. Explain what is accident statistics. It means the maintenance of accident details. How does the worker's health influence? The worker's health influences by occupational factors, physical, chemical, biological, social. Non-occupational factors, food, cloth, water, housing smoking and alcohol etc. What is ingestion? Entry of harmful materials through mouth is called ingestion. What is cold work permit? Any work which does not involve production of spark flame, heat, temp, is called. What is risk? Improbability of the realization of potential for loss or damage or injury. What is personal protective equipment? It is an equipment used to project the person from hazards such dust, dirt, fumes and sparks etc. It is the barrier between hazard and person. Explain how to care and maintenance of hand tools. 1. Tools must be kept clean and free from corrosion. 2. Keep metal parts slightly oiled. 3. Remove burrs from edges of tools and heads of chisels. 4. Tools which are not in use must be stored separately. 5. A good worker regularly inspects his tools. 6. Do not use tools without handles. Explain safety rules ensuring oxygen cylinders. 1. Oxygen cylinders should not be kept near combustible materials. 2. Oxygen cylinders should not be handled with grassy hands or gloves. 3. Oxygen cylinders and their fittings should not be tested with oil-based soap solution. 4. Oxygen cylinders and other combustible gas cylinders should not be stored together.
5. The top cover of the cylinder should be kept in position and screwed safety when not in use. 6. Cylinders should not be used as rollers for moving materials. 7. Oxygen must not be used for ventilating confined spaces. Tell me plant safety inspection by whom? Safety officer. By line management personnel. By senior management personnel. First line supervisor. By maintenance engineers. By workers. By safety committee. By statutory author rights. Tell me some examples about unsafe fact. 1. Operating any equipment without properly authority. 2. Failure to warning. 3. Operating at unsafe speed. 4. Failure to use PPE. 5. Using hands instead of tools and equipment. 6. Unsafe loading or placing or stacking. 7. Unsafe position slash posture. 8. Working on moving equipments. 9. Wearing loose clothes while working on running machine. 10. Working at height without safety belt. Explain how many types of accidents. There are four types of accidents. Near miss accident, escape. No lost time reported 48 hours. Before. Lost time, reported 48 hours. After. Fated, death. What the role of government in industrial safety? The government. Responsible for protection workers, consumers from dangers at work, on the road, in the air in the water, from air and water pollution etc. Explain what are the duties of a factory inspector? He takes up the license and registration of factories. He also verify the documents related to factory workers. He suggests suitable and welfare measures. What is a near miss? Share a near miss experience and what you learnt from it. Near miss is a situation where an accident could happen but did not. These indicate leaks in security arrangements. Last year, during a renovation project someone placed heavy tiles on the first floor just where the floor was not strong enough to carry their weight. The floor gave in and a couple of tiles fell down, no one was hurt. But I learned to always place safety tags on weak parts of structures being renovated. What is emergency planning? Emergency planning can defined as a control measure. It can control the accidents safeguard people and provide information to media. What are the duties of a supervisor? He has to instruct this workers about the work methods and procedures. He has to maintain discipline among the workers. He has to supply necessary materials. He has to control quality and cost of the job. He has to guide his workers in doing a job in the correct and safe way. He has to supply suitable personal protective equipment to his workers. He should conduct periodical safety meetings. He should conduct safety inspection of his working area. He should know about the firefight equipments. He should know investigate the accident and find out the cause of accident. What are the advantages in good housekeeping? 1. It helps in the reduction of accidents including fire accidents. 2. It saves the property damages. 3. It improves employee moral. 4. Better productivity. 5. Working area becomes presentable. 6. Human energy is conserved. 7. Visitors are very much satisfied. 8. The burden of supervisor is reduced. How to erect scaffolding? 1. It should be erected on levels firm ground. 2. It erected by trained, skilled person. 3. It is constructed using metal pipes and wooden boards. 4. It should be designed and constructed from good and sound material. 5. Not to be erected on loose earth. 6. Clamps should fixed. 7. Properly bracing. 8. Sole plate is necessary the base of vertical pipe. Explain brief note about forklift truck. 1. Check brakes, lift tilt and tires. 2. 
Check the stability of load before moving it. 3. Never leave your forklift truck and attend with motor running. 4. Never park forklift truck on passage way. 5. Never drive with wet or greasy hands. 6. Always drive with a safe speed and slow down at turning point. 7. When driving without load forks about 6 inches above the floor or ground. 8. Never operate trunk in gaseous area. 9. Never carry a load so high that you cannot head, if necessary operate truck in reverse. 10. Avoid carrying loose materials on forks. 11. Never allow one to go under elevated loads. 12. Warn other employees to stand clear when staking or removing materials. 13. Exhaust pipe should have flame arrester. 14. Fork should be lowered to the floor when the truck is unattended. 15. Stay alert at all times. Explain what is toolbox talk? 1. Job related safety aspects. 2. Job related hazards, risk. 3. Control, preventive measure. 4. Adequacy of PPEs, condition. 5. Following safety rules, procedures. 6. Safe work procedures, methods. Do you know human factors causing accidents? 1. Carelessness. 2. Fooling about it. 3. Hurrying to increase production. 4. Laziness in housekeeping. 5. Hurrying in lunchtime. 6. Lack of attention due to worry. 7. Alcohol and drugs. 8. Lack of skill and experience. 9. Not using PPE. Do you know Factory Act? Sec.6 Registration of a Factory. Sec.11 Cleanliness. Sec.13 Ventilation and Temperature. Sec.17 Lighting. Sec.18 Common 19 Drinking Water and Sanitary. Sec.23 Employment of Young Person on Dangerous Mechanical. Sec.28 Hoist and Lifts. Sec.29 Lifting Machines and Tackles. Sec.35 Protection of Eyes. Sec.36 Precaution Against Danger Firms. Sec.36 A Use of Portable Electric Light. Sec.38 Protection in Case of Fire. Sec.40 A Maintenance of Building. Sec.40 B Safety Officer's Duty. Sec.45 First Aid Boxes. Sec.111 Obligation of Workers. Explain a brief note about Act related with Session. The Factory Act, 1948 Petroleum Act, 1934. The Mines Act, 1952 Water Act, 1974. Automatic Energy Act, 1962 Air Act, 1948. Railways Act, 1890. Indian Electricity Act, 1910. Indian Boilers Act, 1884. Workmen Compensation Act, 1948. Employees State Insurance Act, 1948. How is audit conducted? 1. Preliminary visit and understanding the factory. 2. Identify the audit element. 3. Prepare the questionnaire. 4. Get the reply from the company. 5. Discussion with management, executives and workers. 6. Cross verification at site. 7. Preparation of report. What is safety surveys? Safety surveys are made to have detailed observations of all types of unsafe physical and environment conditions as well as unsafe practices committed the health and comfort to workers. What is safety audit? The safety audit is the process that identifies unsafe conditions and unsafe facts the plant and recommended safety improvement. Walk through it evaluates the unsafe condition notice able to naked eye during work through the plant. Stores, civil work, erection work, intermediate more details study and review of plant design and plant operation.
comprehensive it evaluates the safety factors in the plant on the base engineering, analysis, testing, measurement. What is JSA? The procedure of analyzing job for the specific purpose of finding the hazards and developing. What are the precaution for sand blasting? 1. Compressed airline, hoses and other fitting must installment firmly without leaks the hose. 2. Misuse compressor should be avoided. 3. A fresher hood or mask must be worn. 4. Housekeeping can be done period coolly. 5. Fire extinguisher shall be kept nearby. 6. Dust mask ear plugs, muffs should be used. 7. No sand blasting shall be done on top of floating roof tank in service. 8. Use goggles and face shield. 9. Sand blasting operation must be gas free. What precautions are necessary in electrical work? 1. All electrical installations shall be as per Indian electricity rules. 2. Only competent persons should handle the electrical equipments. 3. The equipments should be earthed properly. 4. All temporary electric lines should be drawn at least above man's height. 5. Cable should be completely insulted. 6. Cable should not have any joints. 7. Only connection for one point. 8. Good housekeeping on the area. 9. Fire protection equipment to be kept nearby. 10. Use rubber gloves and rubber boots. 11. Use good quality of wire. 12. Power isolation close to the job. 13. Use three pin plug instead of loose wire. 14. Never operate any electrical equipment with wet hands. 15. Never stand wet surface while working electrical equipments. 16. During thunderstorm do not stand under tree. 17. Proper sign board is necessary. 18. No person shall work on any live electrical conductor. 19. The switch shall only be put on by person who switched it off. Explain handling of compressed gas cylinders. 1. They are not to be dragged or dropped. 2. They should be stored in dry and well ventilated places. 3. Chins and slings should not be used for lifting cylinders. 4. The caps of the cylinders should not be removed when they are not the use. 5. Cylinders should not be stored near hot sources. 6. Acetylene cylinders should not be stored horizontally. 7. Empty cylinders and fully cylinders should be stored separately. 8. Leakage cylinders remove to open space and release the gas without getting ignited. What is accident investigation? Accident investigation means to carry out immediately the occurrence of accident to find out real facts to avoid the future accident. How many steps in safety? There are four steps in safety. Policy. Implementation. Take advantages of Factory Act. Safe working conditions. Explain personal protective equipments. PPE. 1. Head protection, hard hat, cap, and helmet. Made, aluminium, PVC, fiberglass, plastic. Protect, heal, spark, danger materials. 2. Face and eye protection, spectacles, welding goggles, face shield. Protect, flying particles, radiation. 3. Hand protection, gloves, hand pads. Made, leather, rubber, PVC, asbestos. Protect, acid, oil grease, pure alex rubber gloves electrical. 4. Foot and leg protection, safety shoes, gum boots, foot leg guard. Made, metal, leather, rubber. Project, falling materials and electrical work. 5. Body protection, apron. Hood, coverall, jacket. Made rubber, leather canvas, lead, PVC asbestos. Asbestos hood, firefighting. Rubber, PVC full suit, corrosively liquid, fumes, vapor. Safety belts, 
work exceeds 3 MTS. 6. Ear production, ear muff, noise, 30 to 135 dB. 7. Ear plug, 115 to 120 dB. What are the hazards in petroleum industry? Fire. Explosion. General hazards. Frostbite. Tell us control measure of work at height. I. Use safety belt with proper anchoring above head. 2. Special training must be given before starting the job. 3. All scaffolds must be erected by skilled persons. 4. No work after sunset. V. Every platform should free from unnecessary obstruction. V. Grease, mud, paint removed from working platform. What is radiography? It is conducted to check the welding joints for any blowholes defects through X-ray. Explain precaution for electric shock. Use dry hard gloves and rubber sole, safety boots, gum boots. The electric holder must be fully insulted. Proper protection for the body. During chipping of slag use white goggles. What are the responsibility for workers for safety? 1. Report unsafe condition to supervisor. 2. Do not operate the machine without knowing the operation. 3. Before starting the machine, whether the machine is in condition not. 4. Use correct tools. 5. Follow the safety rules. 6. Always do not horse play. 7. Do not lift overload. 8. Do not chit on it with others. Do you know how many types of PPE? There are two types of PPE. 1. Respiratory. 2. Non-respiratory. Respiratory, air supplied. Air purified. Air supplied, compressed air breathing apparatus set. Air purified, canisters gas mask. Chemical cartridges respirator. Surgical cotton mask. Dust filter mask, dust respirator. Explain a brief about classification of fire. There are mainly five types of fire. Class A fire, wood, paper, clothes, rubbers etc. Class B fire, oil, grease, paint, petroleum etc. Class C fire, acetylene, ethane, methane etc. Class D fire, sodium, magnesium, potassium etc. Class E fire, electrical equipment etc. What is accident prevention? Accident prevention may be defined as an integrated program and directed to control unsafe mechanical or physical condition. Explain me about vehicles and plants. 1. All vehicles requiring security vehicles pass. 2. All drivers should have valid driving license. 3. Drivers should not use forklift trucks for carrying passengers. 4. All traffic regulations and speed limits should be strictly followed inside the plant area. 5. All vehicles area in a roadworthy condition. 6. Vehicles park in the operation area must always unlocked within ignition key in position. Explain cause of accidents in mechanical handling. 1. The sudden failure of wire rope or a chain. 2. Slipping of the load from the sling. 3. Swinging of the load at the time of lifting. 4. The load sometimes hits the man. What is all? The minimum concentration of vapor, gases and dust in air below which propagation of flame does not occur on contact with a source of ignition is called all. Do you know about the latest health and safety regulations? This question is about whether you're up on the latest developments in the industry. Before your interview, spend some time on the internet to find out whether there have been any recent changes and what the impact of those changes will be. What is hazard? Inherent property of a substance or an occurrence which has potential to cause loss or damage property, person or environment. What is scaffolding? It is a temporary platform constructed for supporting both men and materials and working safety at construction site. What is forklift truck? 
forklift truck are designed to handle heavy loads. Explain me what are the hazards in welding? Eye injury. Burn injury arc realization. Electrical shock light arc radiation. Heat, light and radiation effect heat fume. Poisonous gases chipped price of weld metal. Fire. Explosion scattering. Noise sparking. Sparking. Flying sand. Do you know general safety precautions in construction? 1. Adequate first aid equipment should be kept ready. 2. Adequate firefighting equipment should be available. 3. All general electrical rules should be followed. 4. Suitable lighting arrangements should be necessary at night work. 5. Workmen at height should be wear safety belts. 6. Workmen handling cement should be provided with goggles, rubber gloves and rubber boots by nose mask. 7. The moving parts of grinding machines used construction site should be covered with guards. 8. The moving parts of grinding machines used construction site should be covered with guards. 9. Excavated material should not kept near the excavated. 10. Very short duration of work red flags must be hoisted and more duration red banners must be stretched. 11. Defective tools should not be used. 12. The worker should not carry tools in his hands when climbing a ladder. 13. Excavation should be guarded by suitable fencing. Explain me a brief note about crane and la. 1. Only authorized and competent person should operate cranes. 2. The correct sling must be used for the load to be lifts. 3. Lifting equipment must be certified from competent authority and mark with its SWL. 4. Never be used for loads excess of its SWL. 5. Cables and slings must be padded when passing over sharp edges of equipments. 6. Check the condition of the ground before parking the crane and use outriggers. 7. All moving parts must be guarded. 8. Uncertified chains, ropes, slings and hooks should not be used. 9. All slings to be inspected by third-party inspectors. 10. Never stand or work under a suspended load. 11. Place the outriggers on firm's ground. 12. Guide ropes shall be used to control swing of lifted material. 13. Never operate the crane at the time of speed wing. 14. Lifting over live equipment should not be encouraged. 15. The crane should undergo periodical maintenance as per manufacturers. How many types inspection? There are five types inspection, pressures of boilers, supervisor. 1. Continuous inspection, select employees, operator. 2. Periodical inspection, material storage, firefighting equipments, handling equipments. 3. Intermittent inspection, unannounced inspection done by safety officer, safety committee, particular work spot. 4. Statutory inspection, storage area, location at height, cranes, ropes, chains. It might tackles inspection. 5. Special inspection, accident investigation. 6. Inspection of new building, general lighting, use of PPEs etc. Construction work. What precaution are necessary for protect of fires? 1. Buildings and plants shall be so laid out and roads, passageways etc. 2. Doors and windows shall be located in suitable positions on all external walls of the building. 3. Smoking lighting or carrying matches are to be prohibited. 4. Gas cylinders should not be stored near high flammable substances. 5. Flammable liquids shall be stored in suitable containers with close fitting covers. 6. In every factory has to suitable firefighting equipment. 7. All firefighting equipment shall be subjected to routine maintenance inspection and testing by proper trained persons. 8. Sufficient number of persons shall be trained in the proper handling of firefighting equipment. 
what general precautions are necessary while driving. 1. Follow all traffic rules, signs and signals. 2. Do not exceed the speed limit. 3. Take 10-minute break after every 2 hours on long driving. 4. Drive in correct gear. 5. Keep both hand on steering wheel. 6. Do not drive if you are not feeling well or fainting sleep. 7. Slow down while passing junctions, corners, crowded places and parking. Explain what are causes of accident of working at height, personal. A. Lack of knowledge and skill. B. Overwork. C. Feeling of dizziness. D. Non-usage of PPEs like safety belt signet. E. Unsafe platform. Not covered having floor openings. F. Improper erecting. G. Unlearning work at height. What is still zero for 15 minutes continuous exposure? It is considered as maximum allowable concentration not to be exceeded at any time during 15 minutes continuous expose period. It is a maximum on concentration to which works or can be exposed to a period of to 15 minutes continuously without suffering from irritation. Explain me control measures of radiography. Barricade the area. Remove all unnecessary persons away from sight. Check radiation level with dosimeter. Use lead shields. Put a sign board. Risk tissue damaged. Use special filter glass. Use lead coated aprons. What is noise? Up wanted sound which causes irritation to the ears caused by mechanical movement. What are welfare measures of factory act? Adequate and suitable washing facilities should be provided. Facilities for sitting during rest hours should be provided. If more than 250 workers are employed in a factory a canteen facility shall be provided. Shelters rest rooms and drinking water shall be provided. Welfare officer shall be employed where than 50 workers are working. What are the causes of industrial accidents? 1. Inadequate skill, improper supervision etc. 2. Rapid industrialization. 3. Expansion of exiting factories. 4. Setting up new industries involving hazards not known earlier. Tell us what is safety management? Safety management is an art and science of setting safety objectives of the industrial company and related activities of planning, administration, improving, various functions to achieve the safety objectives. Explain a brief note about safety policy. 1. The safety and health of all employees is one of prime concern of the company. 2. Every company will be required to the policy both in letter and in spirit. 3. The company shall comply straightly with Act, laws, rules and regulations. 4. The company shall impart training in health safety and occupational health to all employees. 5. The company will adopt own safety and health standards where laws may not be available. Explain different types of hazards. 1. Mechanical hazards, inadequately guarded machines parts. 2. Chemical hazards, of toxemic gases, vapors, fumes, smoke and dust. 3. Electrical hazards, inadequately insulated line wires. 4. Fire hazards, chemical reaction, electrical arcs. 5. Radiation hazards, dazzling light and frayed rays ultraviolet rays. 6. Pollution, water pollution and noise pollution. Explain safety rules when using ladders. 1. The footwear is not greasy, oily and muddy and has a good grip on the rungs. 2. When climbing or coming down a ladder should be face the ladder side and head on with both hand. 3. Carry light tools in pockets in a shoulder bag. 4. Hold on with at least new hand if use of both hands then, use safety belt. 5. Never climb higher than the third rung from the top on straight or second tired from the top on extension ladder. 6. Step ladder must be fully open and the divider locked. 7. 
Metal ladder shall not be used near electrical equipments. 8. Metal ladder shall not be placed on firm footing and at angle of 75. 9. Any ladder found defect in any way should be marked do not use. 10. Ladder shall not be placed on a box or drum. 11. Rubber protection on head and heel of a ladder is necessary. How to prevent accidents of power tools. 1. The operators should wear face shields or safety glasses. 2. Power tools should be placed in the storeroom after use. 3. Power tools should have protected by guards. 4. Pneumatic hoses or electric cables of power tools should not pass through passage ways. 5. The electrical power tools should be properly earthed. 6. Never horse play with hose of pneumatic tools. 7. Power tools machines should be maintained and operated properly. What are the precautions for welding? 1. Remove all combustion material from the place of welding. 2. Clear the work area and cover wooden floor with fireproof mats. Welding mechanics should be kept within the visibility of the welders. 3. Erect fire resistance screen around the work. 4. All welding cables should be fully insulted. 5. All welding mix shall be double earthed. 6. Welding area should be dry and free from water. 7. Keep the fire extinguisher, sand really. 8. Use leather hand gloves, goggles and helmets. 9. Switch off the power when welding is stopped. 10. Do not allow the helper to do welding. 11. Do not shift the welding cable unless the electric power is switched off. 12. Do not allow the helper to carry the welding. Terminal of the welding cables should be provided three cable with lugs and kept tight. 13. Oxygen hose in black and acetylene hose in red in color as per standard. 14. NRV of the blow torches should be maintained properly avoid backfire. 15. Welders should be drained properly. 16. Cylinders should be stored in a cold dry place away bottom heat and direct sunlight. 17. Proper housekeeping, good ventilation in the working area. 18. Smoking should be avoided from welding area. 19. Hose connection should be proper made. 20. Barricade the work area and put a sign board. 21. Rolling of cylinders should be avoided. 22. Flash back arrestor should be attached in each cylinders. 23. Any leakage of cylinder should be kept separately. What is sandblasting? The process of removing rust dust, dirt, scales and old prints from the old surface using compressed air is called sandblasting. What is injury? It is defined as a harmful condition sustained by the body as a result of an accident. Explain me what would you do if a plant manager asked you to ignore a safety violation? Minor technical violation that was unlikely to result in injury, I might give the manager 24 hours to fix it. At that time, I'd do another inspection. If it were a major hazard, however, I'd have to refuse to ignore it. Please give comment and suggestions. Thank you. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank for visit our channel. See you next class. Thank you.